Hi guys, today we're going to do something a bit different. Over the past couple of years I've been drinking spirits. Um, I've got a small collection. Um, I've got some scotch, I've got some, got some Irish whiskey, got some bourbon and I've got some rum. Um, I've got over 20. Um, some of them are empty but I've kept the bottles anyway. Um, I thought I'll show you anyway. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about each one um, and a bit about what I thought of them. Um, I'm not going to waffle on too much. I want to keep the video as short as possible. Um, I'm going to start with my rum. The first one is Red Leg Spiced Rum. This was the first rum that I bought. Um, I really like this. Um, it's not too strong. It's only 37%. Um, it's very easy to drink. Um, it goes well in Coca-Cola and ginger beer. It's also nice by itself. Um, it's very sweet. It's spicy. Tastes a bit of ginger in this. Um, some caramel, toffee, it's also pretty cheap here in the UK, only paid £23 for this, I highly recommend it, delicious. Next is RL Sales Barbados Rum. This is a little bit stronger than the, um, the red leg. This is 46%. It's, um, it's a bit harder to drink. Um, it's got more of a bite to it. Um, it's not as sweet. Um, it's very spicy. Um, it's very rich. It also goes well with Coca Cola. I haven't tried it with anything else. I tend to drink this one straight because it's more expensive. I don't really like mixing my drinks. Um, I prefer to drink them straight. It's also in interesting bottle. It's an unusual shape. I believe this is based on the old pirate rum bottle. Last one I heard. It's also got a like a coin on the front. Quite nice. A little bit pricey. But I recommend it. Um, next I'm going to move on to my bourbons. Um, first is Buffalo Trace. This was the first bourbon I ever tried. I really like this one. Um, it's very easy to drink. It's only 40% alcohol. It's very sweet. Um, very buttery, um, can taste toffee, um, caramel, um, very sugary, um, I recommend this one, um, if you want to try bourbon, I think this is a good first choice for beginners um, 
was only 20 pounds very good buy highly recommend it um, next is Evan Williams single barrel this is 10 years old um, I quite like this one I don't love it um, I think I prefer the Buffalo Trace this is a little bit stronger um, 43% um, it's not quite as sweet it's a little bit harder to drink um, It's got an unusual smell to it. Um, I can smell nil varnish remover on it. I couldn't smell that to begin with. I think it's because the bottle's been open for about a year. It was also more expensive than the Buffalo Trace. Um, I do like it, but I don't love it. Probably won't buy another bottle of this. Next is Noah's Mill. This is, is unopened. Um, I'm keeping this one um, for a special occasion. Um, I've had this for about a year now. Um, can't tell you much about this. I've heard it's very nice. It's 57% alcohol. Um, It was very expensive, um, I think it was about £60. I look forward to trying it. Um, next I'm going to move on to my American whiskies. This is Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire. This was one of the first whiskies I bought. Um, I quite enjoyed it. Um, as you can see, I've drunk most of the bottle. Um, it's very unusual. Um, of course very strong cinnamon flavour um, it's a nice sipping whiskey um, probably won't buy it again though um, but it was worth trying pretty good um, Next is Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey. This is unopened. Um, I've had this for a couple of years now. Um, I'll get around to it eventually. Um, I've bought too many better whiskies, so this one's been left in the back of the cupboard. Um, it's only twenty pounds. As I say, I'll get around to it eventually. Might be okay. Next, I'm going to move on to my Irish whiskies. Um, first is Teeling Single Malt Irish Whiskey. I really like this one. Um, it's forty six percent alcohol. It's been matured in four different casks, I believe. Um, I don't know which ones off the top of my head. Um, I think a couple of wine casks and um, possibly 
sherry, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I prefer, I prefer this one with a little, uh, little bit of water. Um, it's a little hot for me, neat. Um, I can't pick up too many flavours without water in. Um, I'm not a whiskey expert. Um, I can't distinguish too many flavours at the moment. Um, I'm getting better though. Um, with water, I can pick up a strong green apple taste. Um, it's very creamy. Um, a little bit of oak as well. Um, this one's quite nice. Next is Powers 12 year old pot still Irish whiskey. I really like this one. Um, it's quite expensive. Cost me £58 in the UK. Um, I prefer this one neat. Um, it's very buttery, um, sweet, but very smooth. Um, I don't like this one with water. I prefer it neat. Um, if you like Irish whiskey, but you like something a bit more complex, um, I recommend this one. Um, next is Paddy Irish whiskey. I didn't like this one. Um, it's very bland, um, one dimensional, um, it's too smooth for me, um, it's only 40% alcohol, it tastes very watery, I've heard good things about this one, but I was very disappointed, um, it was only £20, but I won't be buying another one of these. I don't recommend this one. Um, next, I'm going to move on to my Scotch whiskey. Um, this is a blended whiskey, it is Feta Cairn Fior. I really like this. I really like this one a lot. Um, as you can see, I've drunk nearly the whole bottle. Um, I've got an unopened bottle downstairs in the cupboard. Um, this one is very sweet. It also has a bit of a savoury flavour to it. Um, slightly peated as well. Um, quite complex. Um, I seem to pick up different things every time I taste it. Um, got a slightly smoky bacon flavour to it at times. Um, that's faded a bit now. Um, it's got a bit of a bite to this. It's only 42%. It does have a bit of a kick. Um, I prefer this one neat, but it's also nice with a bit of water. I highly recommend this one. It's worth having in the collection. Um, next is Craig Gallagher. Um, 13. This is a spare side. I really like this one too. Um, I've drunk the whole bottle. Didn't last long. Um, this 
one's pretty complex. It's rich. It's uh, very sweet. Um, it's very viscous. Um, it's got a very long aftertaste. Um, it's sweet. It's spicy. Um, it's different to all the other space sides I've got. Um, wasn't cheap, but I think it's worth the money. It's also got a nice bottle design. Can't really tell you too much about too much more about this. Um, as I say, I'm not a whiskey expert, um, but this one is really nice. I recommend buying it. Next is Glen Scotia Double Cask. I love this one. Um, it's definitely one of my favourites. Um, it's very rich, spicy. Um, tastes a little bit of cinnamon, um, ginger. Um, Bit of sherry as well. It, it was matured in American oak and Pedro Jimenez sherry casks. You can definitely pick up the sherry, um, but it's not overpowering. I tried a Glen Jornick 12 a few weeks ago. Um, I wasn't that keen on it. Um, not sure if I like um, fully matured sherried whiskies, um, but I like partly matured um, sherried whiskies. Highly recommend this one. It's quite cheap, it's £32. Full of flavour. Definitely going to buy this again. I highly recommend having this in your collection. It's also got a nice bottle. Next is Abelor 10. Um, I like this one too. When I first bought it, I wasn't keen on it. Um, I thought it was very bland. Um, this is a bit watered down for me. Um, it is only 40%. Um, didn't think it was too complex. Um, but after a few weeks of being opened, um, I started to enjoy it more. Um, it's not overly sherried. Um, it's quite subtle doesn't punch you in the face um, it's sweet um, but it's not too sweet um, it's not very complex um, didn't pick up much else other than sherry um, a little bit of toffee maybe um, recommend this one um, if you're just starting out in whiskey um, this is a good first choice it's also good for a daily sipper it's only 25 pounds I'll probably buy this again if it's in the sale don't think it's worth full price I'm interested in trying um, the 12 or the 15 or the Abuna. Recommend this one. Um, next is Long Raw Peated Campbelltown Scotch Whiskey. I love this one. Um, it might be my favourite, I'm not sure. 
Um, that's definitely up there. Um, when I first got it, I wasn't that keen on it. Um, I thought it tasted a bit flat. Um, it's not heavily peated. It's very subtle. Um, it's sweet. It's very well balanced. Um, as I say, when I first got it, I wasn't that keen on it, but after a few weeks, it's been opened. Uh, the taste changed. It got sweeter. Um, the peat is just in the background. Um, it's not too over the top. Um, it's just delicious. I'll, I'll definitely buy this again. I'm interested in the 18 as well, but it's very expensive. This is only £39. This is a must buy. Next is Old Coltney 12 year old. This was the first Scotch that I bought. Um, maybe this was the wrong one to buy as a first, a first buy. Um, it's a very um, heavily peated. It's very briny, um, salty. Um, I didn't think it was too sweet when I first got it. Um, I didn't really like it at all when I first got it. Um, but I put it away for six months in the cupboard. Um, I got it back out um, six months later. Um, I had another try and the taste changed. I really liked it. Um, it got sweeter. The peat and the brininess um, faded a bit. Um, yeah, it's delicious. Um, it's only thirty pounds. Um, might get this again at some point. Um, next is. Glen Geary, 12 year old. This is Highland whiskey. Um, I love this one. This was one of the first um, non peated whiskies that I bought. Um, it's very rich, spicy. It's got a bit of kick to it as well. It's 48% alcohol. Um, this is nice with or without water. Um, very oaky, um, sweet, tastes a bit of toffee in it, can also taste the sherry in this, but it's not overpowering, it's also got a nice bottle, wasn't massively expensive either, um, £46, I'll definitely buy this again. Definitely worth having in your collection. Next is Tobamori 10 year old. Um, I like this one as well. Um, this is a bit different to the other whiskies I've got. Um, it's not overly sweet. Um, it's a bit savoury as well. Um, it's, got, it's a bit herbally. Um, It's very hard to describe. Um, it's forty six percent. It's got a kick to it. Um, as I say, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. Um, I can taste the oak. Um, as 
to this herbally as well. Um, it's hard to pick up individual flavours in this, um, but it's very nice. I will buy this again. What to pick up? Next is Heaven's Heaven's Choice um, Glenord, eleven year old. Um, this is the independent bottle. This is the most expensive whiskey in my collection. It's seventy five pounds. Um, it's a bit expensive, I think, um, but it's very nice. The spare side, it's hard to get. Um, it's not very complex, um, that's why I bought it. Um, it's very easy to drink. It is 46% alcohol, it does have a bit of a kick. Um, it's improved as the bottle's gone down. Um, getting sweeter, um, it's got a strong vanilla, um, toffee, caramel taste, um, it's a typical spare side really, um, as I say it's not very complex, but not, not all whiskies have to be complex to be enjoyable. It's very nice if you can get it a bit cheaper. Next is another blended whiskey. It's Adelphi blended Scotch whiskey. This was one of the first whiskies I bought. Um, it's only twenty pounds. Um, it's not very complex. It's very smooth. Um, it's got a bit of peat to it as well. Um, it is a little bit watered down. Um, I'm used to stronger whiskies now. Um, but as a daily sipper, I recommend this. It's only £20. Pretty good. Next is Ardberg Ugedal. I bought this one a couple of weeks ago. This is delicious. Um, um, it's quite sweet, um, but not too sweet. Um, when I first opened it, it had a very strong peat uh, taste to it. And very strong smell. Um, when I first opened it, all I could pick up was the peat um, and the smokiness. Um, but it's been open for two or three weeks now. Um, the peat's faded. Um, um, the smokiness, the brininess, it's faded a bit now. Um, got sweeter. Um, it's just delicious. Um, it's 54% alcohol. I prefer this one with a little bit of water. Um, just a touch. It's sweet, it's smoky, it's peaty. It's very well balanced. It's not too peaty. Um, it's not too sweet. I'm definitely going to buy this again. Highly recommend this one if you want to try a peated whiskey. But I'm also interested in 10 year old. Now, on to the last two. Um, these just come today. I haven't tried them yet. This is Edgardor 12. Caledonia. I've heard good things about this. Um, as I said, I'm not too keen on heavily sherried whiskey. 
This one is partly matured in bourbon for eight years and sherry casks for four years. Um, so hopefully this will be quite balanced, not too heavily sherry. 46%. I was going to try the regular Edredo, but it's only 40%. I thought I would pay a little bit more to get a stronger version. Look forward to trying this. Interesting bottle as well. And last is the Aaron Malt. This is cask strength. It's 12 years old. Um, I've just got this today. Um, I can't tell you anything about it really. 54 or 62% alcohol um, it's quite cheap for a cask strength whiskey it's only £48 um, heard good things about this um, I think it's bourbon cask matured um, I look forward to trying this but I'm going to keep it for a few weeks um, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll be back soon with another video. Um, I'll be getting some DVDs and Blu rays in a few weeks' time. I'll do a video on that when I get them. Please subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, take care, bye for now.